Hi, welcome to Ashley's Kitchen. Today I'm doing some Mexican cooking. So to go with it, I want to do some Cajun wedges. All right, Cajun wedges. I'm gonna start off, I've just got a couple of potatoes here, which I bought locally. Nice, great big potatoes. Um, I'm gonna leave the skins on, just make sure that they're clean. I'm gonna just cut them in half, and then in half again. That gives you these lovely wedge shapes. Okay, so that's down the middle, in half, wedge one way, wedge back the other way. I'm allowing eight wedges per person. I'm going to use my trusty old baking tray, which is aluminium. Looks filthy, but actually it's really non-stick and it's perfect for this sort of thing. So throw my wedges in. Add some beautiful local rapeseed oil. Making sure each potato gets a good covering. There we go. And then simply my Cajun spice blend, which is in my shaker, shake over the top. About two tablespoons worth, make sure it gets a good covering and use the big holes so you can get all of those beautiful spices out. Oh, that's going to be gorgeous. Give them a quick turn, get your hands in there, doesn't matter, make sure everything's got a covering of oil and some beautiful Cajun spice. A bit more Cajun spice over the top. Yeah! Woo! Slam it in the oven for about 45 minutes, turn it once just to crisp up on both sides. Come on, into the oven. Slam it in the oven. Okay, my Cajun wedges have had about half an hour and I'm just giving them a quick turn. Oh yeah, look at the colour on there. I'm back in the oven for about 15 minutes. All right, my wedges are done and they look incredible. Just time to plate them up. Just gonna build a little wedge tower here. few little bits just to make it nice. Some lime perhaps, ram fresh. Blobbed in the plate there. Fresh lime zest. And maybe just for a bit of colour, dash of some chilli. Cajun wedges. 